Welcome back everybody to another Hero Double R video and today I am on my lovely CBR 600 Double R. Best bike ever made. <laughs> I've been getting this question so often so I decided to make a video response to it just to kind of clarify it a little bit more. I've been getting so many questions about the VFR project. So many people asking, where's the VFR? Where's the VFR? I get YouTube comments, I get Instagram comments. So many people want to know, and that's fair. I guess I kind of, I haven't made a video in a while about it, and I, I probably, I probably should explain what's going on with it. So the bike is gone. Just kidding, no, it's not gone, it's not gone. I still have the bike, and I'm still working on it, and I'm gonna keep working on it. I just, the problem is, that something else came up. That is life, right? Uh, you know, I wasn't gonna tell you guys this. I was gonna leave it a secret, a surprise, and then just spring it on you. You guys here at Hero RR Vlogs, you guys, you're real big fans of the channel. You watch all my stuff and you want the insider look on what's going on. So I'm gonna give that to you as kind of a reward for subscribing to this channel and explain what is going on as a, a sneak peek. So I was working out the, on the VFR project and I started to have thoughts in my head as I was working in my tiny little 10 year old metallic arrow shed with it, my, myself just sweating in there. And by the way, that shed started to leak. The roof is all rusty. And I had like half of my stuff in the shed, but then I had half of my stuff in the trailer next to it. It was just a disaster. And I finally said to myself, like, I gotta, I gotta do something better than this. This is, this is sucky. <laughs> and so I actually, uh, me and my father, he gave me, he helped me out so much with this. My dad is an absolute beast. He is, he's uh, in his mid sixties and he just works harder than most people in their thirties. It's crazy. But he goes ahead and he helps me out on building a new workshop. So I have the new Hero RR workshop, a 10 by 20, 200 square foot workshop that I can bring my bikes into and wrench on them. Now, it's still not completely finished. I still have a little bit I need to do. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to reveal the whole thing. Please don't cross the street. I'm gonna wait to reveal the whole thing until it's really finished. I'll throw a sneak peek up there for you guys though. But that's basically what's been going on. And it's almost done, I'm really close, but as you guys know, the last 20% of a project takes 80% of the time. So it's gonna take me a little bit, but I'm working on it, I'm gonna get through it. And that's pretty much why the VFR project had to stop because it took months to build this thing. And I just didn't have the time, I didn't have the space, I didn't have the work area to really work on that bike. Now, I did do a lot of work to it before we got to this point. I did swap out the gas tank. I, re I refitted the fairings. I've done a few other little minor things. I started to try to paint it. Of course, I failed at that and got to repaint it all. You'll see in the video whenever I release it. But yeah, the project took a lot longer than I thought. And I didn't mean for that to happen. I, it just happened. But this has been a long time coming. I've had a lot of personal things in my life happen over the last couple of years. And it's just, it's been tough to really focus on what I needed to focus on. So I finally got a chance to just kind of wipe the slate clean. And so that's where I'm at with the workshop. The workshop is, it's built. It cost me a ton of money. A lot of money, a lot of time, but it's done. And I can't wait to start working on it. You're gonna see a lot of videos in the workshop. So I'm excited for that. We're gonna go over the whole tour when it's done. And you guys will be the first to know. And I, I just appreciate sticking with me on this. The BFR project is not it's not being forgotten about. It's it's pretty much done. The only thing I've left to do is to swap out the tires because the tires are crap. I need to basically redo the brakes because the brakes are just, they, they need to be all redone. I, I kind of got them unlocked so I was able to like ride around the yard with it, but I really need to like really go through them and make them safe before I take them on the street. And, 
And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So the VFR, it's coming back. Thank you for your patience. Uh, it's getting there, guys. It is. So uh, don't worry. It will be there along with a lot of other content coming out. And we'll see what happens. I'm, I don't plan on keeping that bike, by the way. So once it's done, I'm probably going to shuffle it along because I want to make new projects. But I'm excited to finish it up. It's almost there, guys. I just have too much going on right now to really focus on that. And overall, it's a good thing to have that. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care and bye-bye. Oh, I wanna play all right